Now to the transition of power at the Rhode Island State House. Today marks Governor Lincoln Chafee's first full day on the job. The state's first independent leader did not waste any time getting rid of former Governor Don Kachiri's controversial E-Verify executive order. Ira right, DeSue supporter Nick Anuosu toured the inside of Chafee's new office. She joins us now live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, Mike, two executive orders in less than 24 hours. It's already been a very busy first full day for Rhode Island's first independent governor. And then a conference room here. As you can see, it's an enormous office yeah. with a gorgeous fireplace. Governor Lincoln Chafee gorgeous spent most of his first full day on the job moving in and getting settled. In between signing an executive order, doing away with E-Verify in Rhode Island. Thank you. And meeting with colleagues. Only Eyewitness News spent the afternoon with Chafee getting a tour of the reorganized governor's office, and we got to see everything. There are two uh, bathrooms in the suite. Just a small sign of the openness he hopes to have with his constituents. I'm just here by their good wishes for a four-year term. Hope maybe an another after that, but for a four-year term. But if I'm a resident and I want to talk to the governor, can I just stop by, sit in the waiting room, and see if you'll have a chance to talk to me? As to whether to come in without an appointment, probably not advisable. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's getting used to the demands and getting used to his new space, planning to fill the bare shelves and walls with pieces from home. This is my great-grandfather. He was an artist. And he says he's already thinking of plans for arguably the most pressing issue in the state, the economy. I know I can't turn around in a day, but right. my... My goal is to work hard as, and as aggressively as possible to get our economy going. Now, the governor says also on his immediate to-do list, filling various positions within his administration. Live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.